Yeah, it's your boy Kid Fresh back on the scene. 2017, as you can see, it's a snowy February already. Chilling with my man Ryan B. Easy in the building. What's going on, man? What up, Fresh? How's it's it going, been a man? minute, dog. You already know, man. You already know. Too long, too long. All right, now let's talk about your new single right now. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Talk about that. The new single is called The Best Lie Ever. Put it out on World Star. Got over 2 million views in 48 hours. Mm -hmm. So we're really moving with that one right now. It's a song about, you know, the lies that people tell. Mm -hmm. So it's real relatable. The kids love it. Oh, it yeah. Gives you a nice little bounce to it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's that Shut Your Mouth music. There you go. Now, talk about Shut Your Mouth music. That's been out for a while. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why I double M. There you go. Now, what, what prompted the name and... What are some of the things you're doing moving forward into 2017? You know, we came up with the name, you know, when we were making the music in the studio, and we were just thinking, man, like, you know, when we play our music for people, a lot of times, like, when people, like, when, before, like, they really get into the music, they, they listen to it, mm -hmm. but they don't embrace it, and they might start talking over it, you know what I mean? They might start, you know, talking about the beat, and we're like, yo, just shut up and Sh listen. Just pay attention you know I mean? and stay focused. <laughs> I like that. Doing. I remember asking that the last time I interviewed you, and you know what? When you when you when you break it down like that, you create a picture in your mind. Everybody in the studio, you know, you got a hot track playing, and you got some people over here that you don't really know. They they talking like, dude, who? Oh. You know, we, we're in a session right now, dog. You know what I mean? You know, know what I mean? And then when the music's so good, you know what I mean? People are like, whoa, what's that? You know what I mean? And it really, the music really makes them shut their mouth and listen because we're really saying something. Mm -hmm. Now talk about the project, the album. Are you doing an album, an EP? Yeah, we got the album out now. Just came out. It's called Chase and Sin. You can find that on Tidal, Spotify, Apple Music, all streaming services. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it got it got a lot of good jams up there. The best I ever came first. We got no competition coming second. If they check out the Facebook page, Ryan Beheasy, you know, on Facebook, I got all the videos posted up there, too, so you can check out a lot of the singles from the album. Now, in 2017, I, we're starting to see more Connecticut artists get beyond Connecticut. You know, we had Chris Webby. Now we got Annoy, you know, do you foresee more Connecticut artists making that kind of impact, not only locally, but nationally? Definitely, definitely, man. The talent is here, man. The talent, you know what I mean? Like, now that we're starting, like, to get that microscope on us, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? We have a unique sound that really, that could really capture the industry, you know what I mean? It really make people love us and relate to us. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, we, we've been shadowed by New York for so long, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Them big buildings, man, yeah. people can't see us down here shining. Because, mm -hmm. you know, Elm City, you know, where I'm from, New Haven, Connecticut, we under that cloud, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But now a little sun, sunlight's coming into that little, that little space. Yep. You know what I mean? We're about to make it, man. We can blow. You know, and, th and I, you know, I want to take this time to give a shout out to Chris Webby and Annoy and all the other artists that have paved the way, like you said, for that, that spotlight to now be shined on Connecticut artists. Because like you said, when I first got up here in 2001, it was either New York or Boston. You know what I'm saying? That's what it was. You know, and I decided when I first got up here, I got to change that mentality. If I'm going to live in Connecticut and I'm going to work in Connecticut and I'm going to be on the streets in Connecticut, I got to research Connecticut and find those artists that can build, that can, that can bridge that gap, you know, just outside of the New York, Boston area. And People like Chris Webby and Annoy, and I remember Forest City and Oscar Black, Ty Henny. You know, those are some of the artists that I remember, you know, that paved the way for somebody like Ryan Beheasy and that whole Shut Your Mouth move, that movement. You know what I'm saying? Now, explain to everybody what is so unique, what is so impactful about you and your movement. You know, what we're about is, man, we make concept songs. You know what I mean? Like, back when I dropped um, Damn It, I'm Broke in 07, mm -hmm. the reason why that stood out in Toad's Place, you know, I had to wait till I was 18 to actually, you know, get in the clubs and perform it. But it was so impactful. And I was up there with dudes, you know, twice my age, mm -hmm. you know, really killing it. You know what I mean? So the sound that I was creating just kind of broke through and it broke through, you know what I mean? Because it's not your average sound, but still it's so relatable. And the kids love it. You know what I mean? Adults love it. It's for all ages. Mm -hmm. Now, my last question before we get about here. You've been out for a while. You've been doing music for a while. Oh, yeah, man. You've been building your brand for a while. In 2017, why didn't you do what a lot of other artists did and just fold up shop and say, you know what, I ain't making no money, this ain't working, I ain't making that kind of impact, I'm going I'm to go do something else. What, what kept you focused? What kept you mentally strong enough to say, you know what, I'm in this for the long haul? It's... You know, I got to say it's the people. 
<coughs> you know, the people, uh, every time I come across people, yo, Ryan, you've been rapping, when's your next show, mm -hmm. when you doing this, when you doing that, when's the next video coming out? So it's like, you know, with it, you know, this business, it's still a business at the end of the day, and it's supply and demand. Right. So if the people want it, I got to give it to them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I wake up with it on my chest, man. Like, it's all I think about. It's it's what I want to do. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And just to create that audience and, and, just, and just destroy everything. You know what I mean? Right for them and just blow it up and make it something, like, real big that everybody can believe in. Mm -hmm. A brand that everybody can love and trust. That's, That's what they need to hear. Glad you said that. Glad you broke it down for them. Shut your mouth music. Exactly. Because, you know, a lot of these young kids nowadays, you know, they in a hurry. You know, they, they, they want fame yesterday. You know, a lot of them don't want to pay their dues. A lot of them don't want to put that work in. A lot of them are lazy. You know what I'm saying? Explain to them kids that are coming up like you did six, seven, eight years ago how important it is not only to promote yourself, not only to brand, but to let them know how important networking is. Oh, man, it's all who you know. What you know will keep you in position, but who you know is what's going to get you to the next level. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it's not like never give up. You know what I'm saying? Never give up. We always have a plan. You know what I mean? Like always... Always try to, like, visualize your blueprint of what you want to do and what you want to accomplish. Rome wasn't built in a day, so you really got to take your time, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And you really got to strategize, and you got to really research, you know what I mean, to know who you're dealing with. Because, again, when you're dealing with business, you're dealing with money. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So you got to know who you're dealing with, what's what, and what's really going to be the next best step for you. There you go. That's what they need to hear. Absolutely. Ryan, be easy. Now, now, explain, now, talk about, you know, all your social media networks they can find you, everything like that. Oh, yeah, Ryan, be easy, everything. Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook. Matter of fact, Spotify, Tidal, Apple Music, Ryan, be easy, H-Y-E-E-Z-E. -E -E. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, find me. There you go. And you know me, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Kid Fresh 937 I just recently got on that IG Live. And I gotta tell you, I love being on IG Live. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a hoe. I ain't gonna lie. I be, I be on the IG Live a lot. You know, whether I'm working out, whether I'm at a club, at a concert, whether I'm on the radio, wilding out. Shout out to that IG Live. Ryan B. Easy, dude. Good luck out to you. Thanks, man. One more again. Talk about the new single and the project. You already know what it is, man. It's your boy Ryan B. Easy, he. Homie coming straight from the Elm City. And you got it locked in right now with your boy Kid Fresh. Coming to you brand new. Check out that new single off the Chase and Sin album. The best slide ever. Make uh, sure y'all hear that. There Check you go. Out. Shut your mouth music. That's Move how we doing it. Management. We out here. Uh.